So welcome guys. As promised, I'm going to do a little video for those of you that were on the Games of Thrones inspired workshop at the weekend. Um, those of you not on the workshop, uh, the workshop participants have been given a very lucrative <laughs> action by Angelica Hyde, who does fairy tale uh, Photoshop actions. Um, and she's offered me a collaboration and a gift to the guys on my mailing list who have done the Games of Thrones. And the action she has offered us is a desaturation of green. It's called um, desaturation of leaves on her website. Um, and I've released a special code for the Games of Thrones people um, so that they can go onto a website and download it for free. Now I am working on getting the rest of you guys some codes um, that will let you play with the actions. Now you can use an action um, in competition work, but I'm going to show you first of all how on earth we load them, what they are and things like that. So here I've got an image of Cherie and Tulio. Of course, she's uh, galloping away from dragons, or with the dragons, or with the White Walkers, or whatever we want her to be. But there's a lot of green, and the green's quite beautiful. But after you've taken 25 photos in a green field with a green background, you need to make a difference. So first of all, I'm going to show you what an action does. Up here on our right hand side, I've got adjustments, history and actions. Now, I've arranged my Photoshop to have these elements. So if I go to window and I want to look at my action box in the window, I would actually open up the window here. So I've gone window, menu, gone on to the actions. Now my little action menu here is already open. But this would be how you would open yours. And I'll click on it. And I can show off. I've got tons. I collect them over years. And there's many I don't use. And there's many I absolutely adore. But let's say you've got your action from the Angelica Hyde giveaway. I'm going to load it. I've got this little four lines on the top as an icon. I go into there. And I go to load actions. Now these are ATN files. So this has taken me straight through into one of my external hard drives. And I'm not the best organised, but I have a little folder that I put all of my actions in. So I'm going to go down to the Angelica Hyde. Here we are, Angelica Hyde, green leaves, desaturation. ATN file, double click. Oh, straight in bobbed itself straight in here so if it was shut it would just say Angelica Hyde I'm going to click on the arrow the arrow points down and here I have the title it's a bit like playing a video I click on what I want to play here I have the play button which is this little arrow just like a cassette player tape recorder I press that and then whoomph a load of things happen and it chugs through and then it comes to a yeah I've done so this little message here is quite important the action is complete remember to open your action which we'll do and turn the layers on and off to see how they affect please reduce the opacity which is the transparency and brush the actions off areas you don't want it to affect so this is not a one click wonder you can play it like it is, but you can absolutely individualise what you've got. Um, we recommend using a soft black brush at a low opacity and repeating if necessary. So mask and take off. We'll look at that. Look at how to do that. Flares and lights can be moved around the image by double clicking that layer and using the movement tool. We know the move tool. Just watch me cursor. I've gone up and running rings around this little move tool so we can use that all actions can be tweaked and opacities amended to suit the style and tones of your image have fun 
from Angelica. I mean, how lovely is that, that she's been following my work for a while and I've been following hers and, boy, she's really good. And we just got chatting and uh, she decided it would be a lovely way to support me and for me to support you guys. So here's our action. Let me open it up. I click on that little arrow and, oh, my gosh, all these components that already have a mask put on make up the changes that we've got so i'm just going to click one off ah so if i take that off by clicking the eye it's a little frostier i like that let's have a look at this next one fibers it says sometimes you just don't seem to have much of a change so that's that top one let me check the vibrance again I'll leave that on. Selective colour. So this is cleaning your yellows. So I'm going to leave that one off. Colour balance. Ah, can you see the warmth? Makes her slightly cooler. I'll leave that one there. Curves adjustment. So this is quite a big one, going from the greens through. Now I'm going to be cheeky. So I'm going to say, oh, I like that. Control J. I'm going to double that. Bring a bit more of that one in. And now I'm going to go down to the hue and saturation. Take it off. We've got proper green. Go without it. Definitely. I'm going to take this curves one down in saturation a little and if I scroll back up to the top I've clicked on the arrow to close it let's just see what we've got so it's cooled all of these greens it's not got rid of the detail it's not given us any problems like that so I'm pretty much going to leave this as it is I do have a problem though that the dress is so white and the horse, even though he is beautifully white, he seems almost cream in comparison with that white dress. So I'm going to change the whites on the white dress. So I'm going to click the background layer, the actual layer of the horse and rider. And I'm going to do this in Adobe Camera Raw. Don't panic. I go to the filter on the top menu, click that, come down camera raw filter and now this should be much more familiar to those of you that use Lightroom it's it's just the little sliders so I'm going to do an adjustment just to this dress I'm clicking the brush up here which is the adjustment brush which lets me do micro adjustments to specific areas I'm just going to clear my settings here and I've got this almost blue white dress here so I'm going to let's make, make my brush a bit bigger just do a little bit here a little rub and then I'm going to adjust that rub to see what happens now I'm changing my temperature so it's almost like changing the white balance here I'm going to take down my highlights I'm going to add a little bit of clarity I'm going to raise my shadows very slightly. I think I might come a bit more yellow. Might even add a little bit of green. And then I'm going to paint that all over. Now if it looks too strong, don't worry. If it goes where her hair is and makes her hair too dark, don't worry. I'm going to now go into the erase tool and clean my edges I find it easier to over overrun almost and then come back and clean up rather than all the picky poking trying to get through in the beginning now I've left a few gaps I'm going to go into add and add back
and I'll keep going over it, it won't double up and get too strong. It will only do the one strength. Now she is pretty much matching the horse, maybe a little bit too much. So I'm going to take out a tiny bit of yellow. And I might just slide up a tiny bit more highlight. So there is a little bit of difference, but she's not really standing out as being in a different white to the horse. So I'm going to just now click the new, which means I can completely start again. I'm resetting. I'm going to bring a tiny bit more light and a tiny bit more blue light into Altulio here. Very subtle. I'm not doing too much. I'm just slightly evening him up. And you can see I've made a little accident and I've gone onto Cherie's hand. So I've clicked into the erase tool and I've replaced that. Now let me OK. That's what we had. That's now what we've got. So it may mean I want to readjust a little bit of some of these here. Click on and off or change the opacity. What happens if I come up strongly with that? No, I'm not so keen on that one. Bring her down like that. So this is the application of the desaturation of leaves by Angelica Hyde onto a very green image. And this is really what we've got. Now, before I would say this is finished, I'm going to do things like take the lead rope, sorry, lead rope out, take out the dandelions, even out the grass. But I'm going to do this in a second video and add some snow, add some frost and make this a little bit more magical. So join me for part two. Thanks, guys.